Good morning everyone, this is Anne Marie. Today is Tuesday, January the 29th, and we are looking at SPY. Um, here's what I want to tell you about today. Uh, it, today is going to be a day that I think you should be pretty cautious about pre-market. We already have um, some downside momentum and things do look like they are rotationally ready to roll over. So here's what my thought is. Do you see this tight range right here? All right, maybe I should pause it and put a box around it. Hang on. If we take a look between 150.31 and 149.65, we're going to see some pretty tight price action. Now the wicks do drop below those levels, this one in particular, but this region right here needs to hold if we are going to have continued strong upside momentum. If not, we are going to begin a little bit of a retrace. This price level here uh, 149.34, maybe not as pertinent as uh, the other level. And so if we consider what the trade is today, the first thing that we need to do is watch this pivot. If we lose the pivot, downside action can begin. So the question becomes, where's my first level of support? That's going to be at the prior day's S1 region right here. And so that's 149.65. Uh, the break there will begin to give us a little rotation. Let me reiterate, this chart has solid upside momentum attached to it, but we do not move in a straight line in the markets. Everything is a wave, a wave of movement up and a wave of movement back. We've had little to no movement on a wave back if we take a look at the move from here to here, right? That's just not there. So we really do want to see that. You can set up the short if you are really hawking it, maybe taking a look at a very tight time frame. Let's see what this looks like on a 30 minute. That's not particularly tight, but we can at least see what the price action is doing here. We've got the breach um, that came at 10 and then lower highs on the close. We had wicks go higher here at this part of the day, but the candlestick closes were lower. So if the candlestick closes are lower, then what we really expect to see is a little bit of downside momentum. The one thing that's still happening is from underneath the candlestick closes and opens are higher. Okay, and so as long as that's there, we're in some kind of triangular pattern. If we draw a line across here in a diagonal, I'm going to do that next, we'll see that a breakup above here, the 150.10 area, mm, probably 150.15 should take us right up to here and likely will extend us to a higher high just so long as we hold the lows here. All right, that's what we're looking at from the downside perspective. We're taking a look at the same thing. It's a little bit sloppier, but um, you can start the introductory short if you're on a very tight time frame, 149.86, and move to the downside. Look at the slowing that we have here. All right, there is definite slowing. If you take a look at the four hour chart and we consider the DPO, um, the price oscillator, hang on one second, you can see that's beginning to dip. The SMI's had a crossover. In the end though, we're still in very positive territory. Not a place to open up a swing long, but it certainly is a place to keep your eyes open for potential change. Good luck trading today.